Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.5a in the great state of Texas and we're using item number 12 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, see if you can work the problem out on your own, and then unpause it and we will look at our answers together. So we have Tyrese. He's got 572 baseball cards. That's quite a few. He sold some. So we don't know how many he sold. Uh, we don't know what the change is, but we do know the result. He had 98 left. Here's the tricky thing. Which equation could not be used to find the number of baseball cards? So that means three of these are actually going to work. So there's two different ways we're going to look at this. First, let's just draw a picture. So we're going to draw a strip diagram, or you might know it as a part, part, whole. So we've got 572. And then this is the two different parts of it. So we don't know how many he sold, question mark. I'm thinking it's a pretty large part because there's only 98 left. So this unknown part and the 98, those put together are going to make the 572. So really what we can do is if we wanted to, we can um, use some of our fact family knowledge to try to figure out how we can take this representation, turn it into some number sentences, and then use those number sentences to create other number sentences in that same fact family. And I'm thinking that three of those number sentences will be found, and the one that's not will be the answer because we're looking for which one is not going to work. So when we're looking at a picture like this, I always look from top to bottom. So I'm thinking 572. And if you take away, because he sold some, so let's say he take away, and I'm just going to put a box there. That's going to be my unknown. I'll put a box there. Take away however many, unknown. And you're going to get 98. So that's what this represents. Now, I know that in a fact family, I don't know what it would take to get from 572 down to 98, but I do know I can do this. I can flip this around and do this, 572 minus, and then you can just switch these two. And you're going to stay in the same fact family. And that's going to help us because now I'm curious. Now I just want to know what is that box? What is that missing number? Well, I can do the 572 and the 98. I'm not going to do it horizontally. I'm going to line it up just like my teacher taught me. I'm going to have to regroup two different times. So that's going to have to be 12. So that's 4. 6 minus 9. Can't do it. Don't think about it. So it looks like 474 is what goes right there. 474. And I made that box too small. I'll put it up on top. Now, the answer 474 doesn't show up anywhere, but that's going to help us if we want to check our work. We know that we have two subtraction problems. Tied to subtraction is addition. So we can now have two addition problems. And when we have two addition problems, your largest number always becomes the sum because you're adding up to that number. And subtraction always comes first. When we're looking at addition, it always comes at the end or as the sum. And so really what we're going to do is we're just going to take these other two numbers and we're just going to represent it this way. 98 plus, we'll put a box. We can put a 474 if we want to. And then we can just flip the two add-ins, 474 and 98. That should equal 572. So let's see what we have here. This F, 572, that is our first one. So that is not the answer. Remember, we're looking for which one cannot be used. 572 minus 98. This is what we did here. So we've already nailed our first two. So it's going to be one of these addition problems. 98 plus box is this third one. So yeah, this last one is, it's got the uh, 572 in the wrong spot. And it look, if we were to put 474 in that box, that just wouldn't work because obviously the 572 is already larger than 474. Our answer is J.